Hello friends, in this week I am providing a small giveaway. First price is Petron HBE6 headphone and second price is Scrum Shape 8GB pen drive. For participating, just watch this video and comment your opinions, suggestions, etc. So please subscribe if you have not done it till now. Stay in touch. In this section, we are going to code for a Morse code encoder and setting up the circuit with an LED and a buzzer. Morse code is a method used in telecommunication to encode text characters as standardized sequences of two different signal durations called dots and dashes. Morse code is named after Samuel Morse, an inventor of telegraph. The US Navy and Coast Guard still use signal lamps to communicate via Morse code and also used in other strips by making use of high resolution recurring lamps. Here we are using an Arduino Nano, an LED and a buzzer for implementing Morse code encoder. Now we can straightly move to our programming. Open your Arduino ID. Okay, before starting we can save this file. Okay, save the sketches. I'm just giving mods. Okay, before going to our functions, we want to declare two variables that is for LED and buzzer. I am going to connect my LED to digital pin 13 of Arduino, so I am just giving here int light pin equal to 13. Now for buzzer, I am giving in peso equal to 5. Okay, I am giving the buzzer to 5th pin of Arduino. Okay, now we can move to our setup function okay put your setup code here to run once okay I'm just deleting it now we want to set light pin and also piso as output bits so I'm writing pin mod light pin comma output okay from those pins we want to get output right okay. next we want to set up our light pin and piso as low at initial it is not necessary here because here we are using functions Although I am just writing here digital write light pin comma low. And setting our piece of sound put. Here we are communicating using serial communication, so I am giving here serial dot begin of 9600 okay. here the 9600 means our serial port is capable of transferring 9600 bits at a time okay now our setup function is over and we can move to our loop part here we want to give our instructions which should be continuously executed okay first of all we want to check whether our serial port is busy or not okay so we can write a condition if serial dot available then move to the steps follows okay and now we want to get the data from the serial monitor right we want to get serial data from serial monitor and we want to store it to a variable so i am just giving uh, storing it to a string variable that is string input equal serial dot read string here i am using read string function for reading serial data from serial port that is here we use dot and dashes for communication there is a problem that is if i am giving characters other than dot and dash then it should be filtered for that we want to write a function for filtering okay for filtering i am just defining a function that is filter modes it is of string type okay string filter modes okay i am giving input as parameter or argument okay input we have already get it from that is from serial monitor uh, we are getting uh, serial data and storing it to input variable okay i'm just giving here string input okay now we want to write a loop before that we want to get the input length okay we want to get the length of the string now i am declaring another variable that is input length okay that is of type int and just initializing it as 
input dot length. Uh, dot length function is used here for getting the length of the string. Okay, now we will get the length of the string in that variable that is input length variable. So for int i is equal to zero, i less than input length we have already uh, declared there, and i plus plus. Just iterate it. Okay, now we want to define a loop that is for getting uh, getting the serial data to a character variable. Uh, serial data is saved as an array. Okay, now we want to declare a variable c that is of char type that is character type and char c equal to input of i. Okay, that is an array. Uh, we have already declared the input string. You can see there string input equal serial dot uh, read string. Using that function, we are getting the serial data to that string. And that acts as an array. You can see here input of i. That means it is iterating towards each step. That is 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. And getting each each characters and storing it to character variables. Okay, now we want to write a condition for checking whether the arrived data is dash or a dot. If the data arrived is dash or a dot, then only it should be returned. Okay. Okay, so we can write if c equals dash or c equals dot. If so, we want to move it to a variable or we want to declare it. I am going to declare another variable that is output string. That is of string type. Okay, string output string equals just uh, leave it as blank. Okay, now I am giving output string plus equals C. Okay, plus equals will append C with output string. We consider it as number or what. Now we can return the output string. Stride return output string semicolon. So function filter modes will return a filter data that is our dot or dash. Now we want to write another code for displaying our mods code. Okay, now I am defining another function that is show mods. Okay, void show mods and giving mods as argument. Uh, we have missed one thing that is to declare mods. Mods should contain the value that is returned from filtered mods. So we can write string mods equals filter mods. Uh, and giving input as argument. Okay, so advance I am just calling the function show modes here. Show modes uh, and giving modes as argument. Now we want to get the modes length and get stored it to a modes length variable. Okay, I'm just giving int modes length equals modes dot length dot length uh, function is used here for getting the length. Okay, now we want to define a loop that is for getting a value saturated on the array. Okay, write for i equals 0, i less than mods length and i plus plus. I write the values. Okay, so get the values from the array mods and store it to a character variable c. Okay, we can write it as char c equals mods of i. Okay, the i will be iterated by the loop. Now we want to make both of the pins that is light pin and piece of pin as high. Digital write light pin comma high like that digital write piece of comma high. We want to write a condition we want to check whether the arrived data is dash or a dot. Okay so write if c equals dash then delay of 650. Uh, here 650 means 650 milliseconds okay. The duration of dash will be greater than dot else uh, we know it is dot delay of 250 milliseconds okay now after the delay we want to make the pins low okay digital right light pin comma low likewise digital right peso comma low now we want to give the delay uh, after each one that is 200 milliseconds now our program is complete, we can compile it, compile in sketch, okay it was showing an error, 
I was not declared in the scope. Uh, what is it? Yeah, we have placed a semicolon there and compiling again. Again, an error is showing that is expected declaration before we had added an extra braces here. Okay, now I am compiling again. Compiling sketch. Okay, done compiling. We can now move to our circuit. Okay, these are the work components we needed for the circuit. Okay, here I am using Arduino Nano, but you can use any other microcontroller units uh, like Uno or Mega and a buzzer for the sound and an LED okay for the indication and I am use here I am using a 220 ohm resistor for the safety of our uh, LED but you can use any other uh, relevant resistor and some jumbo wires for the connection and the breadboard for setting okay we can just connect it uh, first of all I am connecting my Arduino Nano to the board you can see it here placed it on breadboard okay I am setting my LED okay a longer leg is anode and the other is cathode just setting it okay. you can see here and I am just giving sister I have written the program that LED is connected to 13 the pin of uh, Arduino that is uh, DJ pin 13 we can connect uh, positive side to 13 the pin of Arduino okay D13 yeah I got it here got it here 13 the pin of Arduino the other two ground this cathode of LED to ground uh, I am taking here on connection yeah and now we want to place our buzzer you can see the longer leg is uh, anode and the other is cathode I'm just placing it here okay. and the positive leg is connected to digital pin 5 of Arduino we have written in program that is connected to detail pin 5 so according to the program I am connecting it to detail pin 5 I have connected and the other to other end to ground okay I am connecting to ground you can connect to any on pin now our circuit is complete we can connect using a serial cable that is micro USB cable to our computer you can see this I have already written the program but I am rewriting it I am just giving a dot you can see the LED blinks and also buzzer sounds now I am giving a dash you can see the indication and the buzzer sound is somewhat loud ok now we can send an SOS message it is 3 dot 3 dash and another 3 dot my name is Anas and I am going to express my name in Morse code that is 1 dot 2 dash another two dots one dash and another three dots okay one dot two dash another two dots another one dash and another three dots I hope you enjoyed this video and you can comment your name in Morse code in the comment section and see you in the next video till then bye.